Hello there, everyone. The Andrade here, and welcome back to episode 23 of our All the Mod 7 Season 2 Let's Play series, where today we are struggling to uh, work with productive bees. Yeah, it's a struggle. We're figuring it out. It's different, uh, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to get going, so let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada, where we have some work that we need to do, some things that we want, some some cool, fun stuff that we've got planned. So last episode, we ended off, we uh, got our vibranium pickaxe here with uh, looting seven on it, and we set up our processes for our unobtainium. So let's go ahead and check that out, see how we're doing over here at our end highlands. And check out how our how our mining is going. We have a giant hole in the ground, which is always a good sign, especially when we see what we are looking for. Yes, unobtainium. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and mine this up. Bam. Get our stuff and take out this angry Enderman just because he's there and he's not happy with us existing. And so we'll just, you know, end his misery with us. Period. Right? Right. What do we got there? We have a boss phantom, Father Daniel, the... <laughs> this guy's going to be a pain to kill, actually, to be honest with you. He's just going to fly around. And his hitbox is not going to be the greatest. So I'm just going to leave him alone. You know what, Father Daniel? You get to live today. Okay, congratulations on your uh, survival. Uh, I did turn off the sound of... Well, I turned off the announcement for bosses spawning. You can't just disable the sound effect you have to turn everything off so no more messages are going to pop up when they spawn or chat announcements or anything like that but the mobs will still spawn so that's good 16 unobtainium ores what we got from that that's fantastic as you can see here i have some b stuff i did go around the world flying around to find myself some bees and let me tell you you know what it takes a while to find bees okay that was not the easiest thing in the world to find and i don't understand why like bees are should be everywhere and have no issues finding bees but i could not find the bees okay but i did i finally found one so i harvested up what we had got some honey bottles got a few honey combs used my shears on them and everything i did put a campfire below the bee nest here just in case i need to smoke them because i don't know how productive bees works but i know with resourceful bees they're not happy if they're not smoked so uh, i smoked them so that we have that going for us and uh yeah anyway Unobtainium now should be available to us. Yes, we have 30 ingots of it. I will take it. I'm happy with that because we only need three total for this. And I should at this point just make the unobtainium pickaxe. But there's nothing above unobtainium. So or by yeah, unobtainium. So I don't need anything else to mine. Like I don't need an unobtainium pickaxe because there's nothing else that I need to mine other than unless I really want 225 attack damage. Jeez Louise. I should just make the unobtainium sword so that I have, you know, 233 attack damage. I'll add it to my to-do list. It's only three unobtainium. I'm going to have to strip the looting off and everything, but that's fine. And then maybe. We'll see. Again, I'd really like a Paxel. But look at this armor. 500, 500, 500, 500. Toughness, 25 armor for each. It's ridiculous. It's buku. It's crazy. It's unnecessary, but... Still cool, right? Right. Okay. So let's get started. Let's check out Productive Bees, see exactly what we're going to need for this and how this is going to work. I also caught a bee while I was out there. Apparently, bees and Productive Bees have stats. So this bee has uh, productivity of medium. Its weather tolerance is none. It ain't going to like the rain, I'm assuming is what that means. Uh, it's diurnal, so that means it operates in the day and in the night. Uh, endurance is medium, temper is normal, and it likes any sort of flower. This kind of seems like a cross between uh, the old... Oh, what is that? What bees? What were the bees in 112 called? Um, oh, my gosh. The forest. For forestry? Yeah, forestry. Bees and resourceful bees, kind of, sort of. So their bees have stats, but they're also in the world and doing their thing just like everything else i guess i don't know we'll see we'll see how it ends up but anyway let's check out our quest first off let's go ahead and collect all of our quests just so that i get them out of the way so let's grab our quest book and collect everything and see what kind of nifty stuff that we get from this uh we got improved processors i like that silicon osmium bucket 
a neural processor. That's cool. Some more quartz enriched iron. We'll take it for sure. Vibranium site. Ooh, we got some aldamonium ore. We can vein mine or we can mine this up if we wanted to, but I'll leave it as standard. Uh, a potato mask, a vibranium ingot, all the modium ingot, some nuggets, redstone, obtaining unobtainium dust, vibranium dust, and that's about it. Okay, cool. So that takes care of that. Let's check out our quest for productive bees because I have no idea how this mod works. So I already collected the first few. We did this. We got that. Capturing bees. So we need to make four bee cages is what it wants us to do. Though I do have a, I have sturdy bee cages that I got from adventuring. I don't know what the difference between the two is. But the quest wants us to make bee cages. So let's get some bee cages. Uh, I need to do this. Cage. 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 There we go. Got it. Third time's the charm. Uh, so it wants us to make a set of bee cages. Okay, so we got that going for us. And it'll give us a sturdy bee cage. I'm going to assume sturdy, regular bee cages. I'm assuming they fall apart. And then sturdy bee cages don't. Uh, you can find this in the eccentric tome. But if you somehow lost it, craft it. Helps us learn everything about our bees. Right clicking on a nest of the type you are looking for will point you in the direction of another. Okay, a nest locator. There's different types of nests. Okay. So far, um, I'm, I have no opinion so far on productive bees. No opinion. Okay, let's put down this bee nest, I guess, and see what, what to do about the bee nest. So if I put this down here and I it says right click, locator tune to bee nest. Okay, so where? There's a nest located in three meters that way. Well, yeah, obviously, it's the one that I attuned you to. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, well, it's going to attune to what I have. Oh, tuned to a sand nest. Okay. Is there a sand nest? No nests of this type. Okay. What about a grass nest? A bumblebee nest? No nests of this type. Lovely. How about like over here? Yeah, see, this was my issue. I couldn't find any bee nests. I found that one bee nest. And it was like over i went south i went that way for that the bee nest that i did find let's go ahead and sleep i guess sleep it out and then maybe we can find some more nests like i have a feeling we're going to need multiple different types of bee nests since there's bee nest typings so like i wish this would just locate all nests in an area oh is this the thing that i said to explore check this out hey go explore this okay well, we're here. Let's explore this. Sky slime crystal blocks. Oh, my. Is that all this is? It's just solid sky slime crystals? Should I be vein mining this? Because I am. Does this turn into anything? Or am I just supposed to plant this and then it turns into sky slime crystals? I can melt it into sky slime. But, like, it's got these buds on it. What are these? Huh. I have a feeling that I shouldn't do this. Sky Slime Crystal Cluster. Yeah, see, those are those Sky Slime Crystals that I know that we need for... Well, they were using Enigmatica 6. I don't know about in this. And they're actually really not used for anything. Except for modifiers. You need 36 of them to get leaping. Okay, well, this was go explore this. And we did. Unintentionally, but we did. And there really isn't anything to it. All right. How about some bumblebee nests? Do we have any bumblebee nests around here? Why is it so hard to find bee nests? Like, aren't isn't aren't bees? Like, this is literally a forest here. Why can't we find any nests? That's my issue. And this this is what's gonna make me not like this mod. Is having to locate nests. There's a bee. All right, we got a bee. I'll grab a bee cage so we can see what the difference between the two bee cages is. There's a bumblebee. Okay. But what about the nest? This way. Uh, boom. Boom. What is this? Oh, this is the nest. Oh, it's hidden into the ground. Okay. Nest is empty. Use honey treat on it to attract a bee. Nest can attract bees in this location. Yeah, see? So I can't even get it. There's nothing in this one. Let's just grab it. Bring it with us. Bumblebee nest. Empty. Is there another one around here? Okay, so it's not it's this thing is not smart enough to determine when the nest has been removed, so I have to right click again.
it's over here. And it seems to be like here. There it is. There is a bee in here. Uh, I didn't bring a campfire with me. I do have my shears. I don't have any bottles either, but if I shear it, I guess we can we can test the uh, the ability for it to like. Do I need to have this? What's it called? It um, do the thing. And also, do I even need to get into this this far? I need honeycomb blocks. Yes. So that's going to require work. A honey treat just requires honeycomb and honey. And then that's the upgrade base, but I also need the blocks. Well, maybe I'll get lucky with a quest reward and get some blocks. Oh, I didn't mean to pin that. Okay, so then your first beehive. Using the vanilla method, go ahead and make yourself a beehive to have your own little setup. He's going to hold three bees each, but we won't be using it for long. Bees will only create honey on honeycombs if they have the right flowers. Vanilla bees can use any flower, but most bees in the mod will require a specific block. Okay, that's just like, uh, what's it called? Let's add a beehive to our to-do list. And that's just standard. Okay, that's fairly simple. Can this bee hurry up? I'd like to uh, harvest this. The one that I found in the wild that I grabbed all this stuff from was already ready to go. That's where I got this bee from. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a vanilla bee nest, though. This is from Productive Bees. So, okay, nest is empty. Well, I guess I'll capture this bee, because why not? We'll take it. Get over here. Okay, and now it's not doing anything. Okay, whatever. All right. Clearly, I don't know how this works. Uh, let's go ahead and shove this stuff in the system. All this stuff. And let's make a beehive. A vanilla beehive. There we go. Also, I'm going to make the honey treat while I'm at it because I know I'm going to need that. So let's do that. I need that for my time in a bottle. Okay. So we have a beehive. Uh, I need to capture. I got my bees in here. Now, if it's anything like productive bees, I don't want them to despawn or disappear or anything like that. So I probably should build some sort of structure to keep them in. I'm going to assume, right? I am a beekeeper. I need to keep my bees safe and protected. So I do have three of them and my beehive. So safe to assume that I should set up some kind of structure to, to keep them. Let's go ahead and grab some spruce. And I'll set up just a, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five, a five by five little. Uh, and actually, this should probably be grass. Ah, this is where not having an axe is going to get to me. Where'd my paxel go? I can at least keep the paxel on me for stuff like this. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is counting with the Andrada. Bet you didn't know you were going to get a uh, counting tutorial today. I'm also going to need to get uh, some grass in there so we can plant stuff. But uh, for now, this should be okay. Do I have any glass? No, I am out of glass. How about sand? I literally live on a beach, so I should have plenty of sand available. But I don't. I just want to, I don't know what I need to do. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe I, this is not even necessary, but I want to go ahead and try. And do it this way. And ideally, I'd get something like ethereal glass. So I can walk through it, but they can't. But it's going to require eyes of ender for each one. Not that I don't have the ability to make eyes of ender. Mm, maybe not right now though maybe i'll just do a couple let's do a little bit of ethereal glass at the end so we'll do one set of ethereal glass and then the rest will be regular glass how about that i have no idea what height i want to make this or anything we're, we're just figuring this out as we go on is clear glass in this can i make connecting glass yes and then i can turn that clear yes thank you at least we have that going for us. So let's go ahead and place some glass so we can see into this structure. And I'm kind of doing this like I did my like my apiaries from 
uh, resourceful bees. Because again, like I said, I really don't know what to expect from this. So if I'm not doing it right and y'all are yelling at me, well, I'll figure it out, I guess, when the time comes. Uh, a little bit more of this connecting glass. Or clear glass, whatever. Okay. Uh, and one more layer. And then my planks can go on top. Or should I use slabs? Yeah, I think this is going to work. I'd like to get some grass in here just because grass looks better than dirt. But right now, I'm not super duper concerned. Nope. Oh, and I can't undo. Oh, and that was all that I had available to me. You jerk. Why would you do that? Is there a way to undo with the wands? I don't know. I, that would be very nice. It's not the first time I've run into an issue where I've accidentally placed with the wand and I need to undo and I can't or I don't know how. And so I end up having to break everything. Uh, what about some stairs? So I can get into this without having to jump. Nice. Okay, cool. And then how about some dirt? At least this way our bees aren't going to escape. Now, do I need a name tag bees or anything like that? Like, again, all unknown to the Andrada. Do they need, I'm going to assume they need access to the beehive. So I'll go ahead and set the beehive down here. And this should be the front. This should be the front block of the beehive. And yeah, so... I don't know if I should build it into this so they can just access the front or are they able to come out from any side? I don't know. So let's go ahead and put our bees down. Yep, you're free and you're free. And the bee cages stayed. So I don't know what the difference between a sturdy bee cage and a regular bee cage is. Yeah, we have it. It's there. Uh, diamond wand, our nest locator. Sure, that can go in there. And where'd our bees go? Oh my gosh, how the heck did they get out? They can get out through planks. Oh my goodness, or slabs. Okay. We just lost all of our bees. Now they're now they're in the water. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, come on. Let's let's be let's be cool about this. What are you what are you swimming for? You're gonna drown yourself. I, I don't even understand how you got out. It's got to be the planks. All right. Let's try this one more time. Or the slabs. Uh, let's do planks. Do I have even enough planks now? Since I converted everything over to slabs, I don't think so. But I should have some spruce logs somewhere. So. Oh, did I not? You know what? That's where they got out. I didn't close this, did I? All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to fix this. Okay, there we go. Our bees are here and they're like chilling i got a campfire underneath the beehive uh it was not the planks i hadn't closed this off so they all just flew right out because our structure was not complete and yeah they're they're here they're doing something what they're doing i don't know but they're doing something which is a good start you know we like to see something at least happening uh let's go ahead and take a look at our quest book and see what we need to do next so Mega beehive can hold three bees each. Perfect. We have our beehive. We have three bees in there. They'll only create honey and honeycombs if they have the right flowers. Vanilla bees can use any flower, but most bees in the mod are going to require a specific block. I already looked at these bees and it said flowers, right? Advanced beehive. With a vanilla beehive, we'll use this to craft an advanced beehive. It can be oak or any kind of wood. Bees will fly in and out of these and drop off honeycombs in the inventory. You can insert glass bottles. Okay, so beehive we want an advanced beehive okay that just requires some shears and a campfire and a regular beehive and then any kind of honeycomb well i have that let's do that um and i have spruce so i just need to make a campfire again i guess it was unnecessary to make the one before and then just some shears which i'll just take the shears that i have in here or not Shears. All right, let's do this. Beehive. 
Let's grab the spruce. And I bet you my shears are just floating around in here. Yeah. Okay, and there's an advanced beehive. Apparently I had another beehive in the system anyway. Okay. So how angry am I going to make these bees if I break their beehive now? Very, apparently. And I hope they don't die. Only one of them got angry. I hope stinging me doesn't kill them. It's one of the things I don't like about resourceful bees, but it was turned off. That At least in Enigmatica 6, you can disable that. I don't need my missiles on me anymore. Okay, we'll see what happens. Let's see if that bee, he's right there. He's angry. Let's see if the bee ends up dying because it stung me because I broke its hive. It's not happy with me right now, though, for sure. Okay, so that took care of the advanced beehive. And yeah, so expansion boxes are placed on top of beehives to increase the amount of bees that can be in the hive. Okay. And while you can definitely just use a regular centrifuge, getting a powered centrifuge. Okay, so there's centrifuges. And it died. You are whatever. Okay. Well, I got two bees. So a centrifuge is a cauldron and a grindstone, and then a powered one. Why did that one die? What's going on? Go into your hive. Why did you die? Excuse me, sir. Are you going to be okay, or are you just going to die too? Like, what the heck? Did you fight for each other? You fought each other for, you know, life and salvation and everything? Do I have this beehive facing the correct direction? Yeah, it looks like it. And it looks like it's pollinating. Like, I'm seeing, like, stuff coming off of it. I don't know. I'm, I may have to look up a video on this mod. Uh, what I want is the upgrade thing, right? That's what I care about right now. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. These are our slimy bees. Upgrades. It's going to give me an upgrade base. I want the upgrade of... What is it? Speed, amount of time, and I need honeycomb blocks, which is four honeycomb. So I need 16 total honeycomb in order to do this. And I got one little bee friend who has not done any work so far. Maybe this guy is not diurnal. Maybe he only works in the daytime. I would just like to see them go into the hive. Like, that's what I want to see. At least go into the hive. So I can validate that this is working, period. Because here's a honeycomb block. Like, I got that. That's pe That part's easy. We can put that in there. I just, I want to see him go into the hive at all. Is there a ponder for this? Like, do they need to be, like, having it in, against this wall, is that not a good idea? Do I need to put it in the center for it to be accessible? Because he hasn't gone in here at all, and that's what concerns me. Or is there like a wand or something I can do to... There is a treat on a stick. Do I need to put the honey treat on this? Maybe I should just get the book. Maybe I should actually just read the book. Uh, It's a big book of bees. Okay. Uh, advanced hives. Productive bees expand on the vanilla hive with an advanced hive. Unlike it does not require a campfire to be harvestable. It can be broken and moved to the bees inside without the use of a silk touch. There are many variants of advanced beehives depending on the wood. Uh, they feature a GUI. You can put an expansion box. You can upgrade. You can whack with a stick to force it out, losing all production and process. Okay. But like, does it need to be in a specific spot? Okay, no, no, no. Dragon egg hive. Expansion boxes. The beginner's guide. Yep, yep, yep. All this was in the quests. Yeah, so basically, I guess I'm just waiting. Yeah, here be puns. I just want him to go in there, please. Make me some honey. Please just make some honey. My friend. Do the work. I'm going to move this, I guess. I'm going to put it in the center. See if it's an issue. If that if that's the case, though, and I, I can't cardboard box it. Does this cardboard box have something in it? No. Why can't I cardboard box this? I don't like not being able to cardboard box things. 
All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to let this be do its thing and chill. This has been a super productive episode, apparently, of me just staring at this bee and hopefully he's going to work. Uh, but that's the beginnings of productive bees, I guess. I will, uh, I'm will. i going to break this bee nest. Maybe he's somehow trying to go there. Let's go check out the end highlands again, see if we have any more unobtainium available to us. Uh, and no, not really. We're clearing this whole area out. We only had that little bit that was there. We do have our friend Father Daniel, though. Still flying around. He's got a lot of health, too. But yeah, no more unobtainium, at least in this general vicinity. But it's going to keep going. This is set to like 512 blocks, so it's going to clear out quite a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. Well, let's head home. And that's going to be basically uh, the end point of this episode. So next episode, I'm going to let this bee do its thing. I'm going to hopefully he ends up going into the hive and getting us some honeycombs. If not, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And then we'll come back and figure out what we need to do with these bees. As we have everything we need for my time in a bottle, except for this bee upgrade. Why is it got to have a bee upgrade? Oh, mana diamond. I thought that was a regular diamond. Well, we also don't have Batania going, so we're going to need to do that. Uh, Endo flame spam much so we can get uh, Batania going? I think so. I like that idea. Just spam some Endo flames and get mana diamonds. Cool. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.